Peace family, this is Essie. Okay, you guys, my sunflower seeds has germinated. I took a walk out here the other day, you guys, and I noticed the difference in the grass. Well, there you have it. My sunflower seeds, y'all. It's amazing how different they look compared to the grass, and I'm so glad that I spotted them because I never chalked this area, which I should have, because I don't want my manpower getting out here and uh, mowing my uh, sunflower seeds up. But, you know, as you are out in your garden, there's always garden lessons. So, due to my excitement, and after I did plant them, I realized this is not a great spot because we are always mowing. So, but I just thought it looked really nice as a beautiful sunflower hedge in between the fruit trees. Right? So, um, next year, I am probably going to put them up against my, you can see there's some more, you guys. My, um, here's a whole bunch right here. See, see how different they look? Pretty amazing how you can tell the difference when you pay attention to what nature is doing. And here's some more, you guys. There you go. And then that one, look, still has the seed on it. So, what I'm going to have to do, there's another one and there's another one. So, what I'm going to do next year is plant all my sunflower seeds along my neighbor's fence but on my side and I think that would be beautiful so I'm gonna shoot for that next year and then over in this area I'm gonna try to round it out with my sugarcane seeds and see how that works so I will bring the sugarcane from the left all the way to the right so it'd be like a sugarcane hedge. Y'all follow me? And then along this fence would be all of the sunflower seeds in that area, like so. So, again, my sunflower seeds have germinated. Just wanted to bring you guys some footage of them. And they seem to be doing well. Hopefully, they will be able to mature to their natural um, height. I'm not sure, but I'm hoping. And, um, yeah. Now, in this middle area, for some reason, I, I was able to spot them the other day, and now I'm not seeing them. It's weird. So, I don't know if the deers came and plucked up in this area. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm not seeing them there. <laughs> so, here's a little update on the fruit trees are bouncing back. That is the multi-grafted plum, nectarine, and apples, and other fruit. And that is the multi-grafted apple tree uh, with the five, what is it, four to five scions. So that would be four to five different apples. And this is the one that the deers never mess with. And the one on the end is bouncing back after the deers attack that one. And now the problem ain't the deers is them daggone beetles. So, I'm gonna come back out here this evening and spray, because when I tell you they tearing the leaves up, they tearing them up. They're not bothering this one as much as this one and this one. They having a good time on this one. Get my mink. Say hi, mink. No, she like, leave me alone, I'm trying to stay cool. <laughs> Say hi, mink. All right, you guys, so that is my update on my sunflower seeds. This is Essie the Homestead. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.